Starting your locker natural hair journey is oh so rewarding, but can be extremely stressful when you start to consider what products to use. If that's you, then look no further. Locklicious is a black owned company that has created an all natural product line for locked and loose natural crowns. The Locklicious team works hard to ensure that their products are free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, PEG, synthetics, and other toxic chemicals you find in other products. Best of all, the products are lightweight and will not leave residue or cause buildup. Go to locklicious.com to start treating your crown like royalty. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Tab with Locklicious and today we are going to do a video on how and why I started my lock and natural hair care line. Locklicious. Before we get started, I want to make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell so you are notified of new videos that we upload. Also, please like and share this content with others. So let's get into the Locklicious story. So I started my lock journey in about 2017, early 2017, and I just decided that I wanted to start locks. And so I knew that I was not gonna buy any commercial products to use on my hair. And I had already decided that I was gonna make my own products. I was natural probably about seven or eight years prior to being locked in 2017. And I was already making some of my own products. Some I would buy and others I would make. And the reason behind me making my products is because a lot of harmful chemicals are in even products that are supposed to be for natural hair, they're synthetic um, ingredients, things that I just didn't want in my hair. And I know being locked is different than being a loose natural in that loose natural, you can always wash and comb out any product that you put in your hair. But with locks, it's very difficult. Once you get buildup in your locks, it can become very difficult and in some cases impossible to remove all the buildup from your lock. So I already knew that I was gonna make my own products. So as I was doing this, I was wondering, I said, I wonder if there are other people out there like me who wanted products for their locks or loose natural hair, but they didn't want all of the harmful chemicals in their hair. So I started to do a search on products that did not contain harmful chemicals. So I was on Amazon and I came across a particular brand that touted and bragged about being all natural, vegan, and for locks. So I said, well, let me purchase it just to see what this product would be like. I purchased their lock gel, their oil, and I believe their rose water. And after using their products, my hair was as crispy as a bucket of KFC chicken. Ah! <laughs> I kid you not. And so I was thinking, I said, there's no way that somebody like me, with hair like me, created this product. Because if I'm creating a product, I'm gonna make sure that I can use the product and people like me can use the product and their, their hair will benefit from it. So after d digging and doing some research on the brand owners, I realized my speculation was correct. And so that prompted me to want to start my own hair care brand for people with hair like me. I have a good vantage point because I was natural for about seven years before being locked and I've been locked now for about five years. So I feel like I have a good vantage point to say what products are gonna be good uh, for people with hair like mine. Now, I do recognize that everybody's hair is different and this particular brand may work well for some other people with locks. I just know for me and probably for others with my hair type, you are gonna probably experience the same dryness, crunchy, crispiness that I experienced. So I felt that there was an opening there for a product that can give our locks and hair the hydration and the moisture that it needs. So from there, it was relatively easy for me to create my business because in 2018, I already had my business name Locklicious and it was already trademarked because I was selling interlocking tools on Amazon already. So it was really easy kind of to pivot my business model to now incorporate hair care products, specifically for our loose naturals and locked hair. Now the reason why I feel that our product is different than a lot of products that are on the market because it is formulated specifically for locks, meaning that it's not gonna be as heavy as a lot of the products that you find out there on the market. And I knew that I wanted to formulate a product line that would not leave residue that can cause buildup. Now before I got to the point of actually selling my products on my website and on Amazon, there were a number of steps that I had to go through. Now, yes, I did already have my business name, my business registered and trademark. To get your business registered is fairly easy in your state, but to get trademark is a little bit of a lengthy process. Um, you can do that at any time. I would just recommend doing those legal steps once you absolutely know that you want to start your business. Because the last thing you want to do is rush to go ahead and get your business name together. You become an LLC or S Corp or whatever formation you want 
and then later decide that you're not passionate about it. You don't want to do it. So I just, I just say, hey, wait a little further down the process to see if it's something that you're going to be passionate about and you're going to want to continue to do. So really kind of the first step when in creating my, my product line, it was really to scan the competition and see where there was gaps in the hair care market that I could come in and provide the products that others were looking for. And so you basically go through and look at different types of products and see what their customers are saying and see where they are missing the mark. So I saw a space out there for businesses like mine that wanted to produce all natural hair care products. And I also saw there were customers out there that were looking for these type of products. So the best thing to do is just to do your market analysis and determine what your customer base is, carve out your demographic, and then you can go from there. Once you determine that there is a place in the market for your particular product, the next thing you wanna do is really define what your business model is gonna look like. And when you're dealing with hair care or even skincare, you want to try to figure out what type of business model do you want going forward? Are you going to formulate and manufacture your own product in-house or outsource the production and formulation of your products? So that can be considered private label. Or are you planning to buy generic product in bulk and then labeling it with your own brand and product label, that's gonna be considered white label. So you just have to determine what business model is gonna work best for your company. Now, if you are formulating or manufacturing your own products, you definitely have to leave enough time for prototyping because there's a lot of testing that goes into formulating and manufacturing your own products versus if you did a white label where you're buying product in bulk and just relabeling it with your company. A lot of that testing has already been done for you versus trying to manufacture that something you know brand new. A lot goes into manufacturing the product yourself. And so you just have to make sure that you are going to count the cost of everything you're going to need to do versus um, going with something that's generic. So if you want to see if it's something that you're passionate about, the best thing to do is maybe to start with something like a white label because you can see if it's something that you're passionate about, if you're going to be able to keep up with what you're doing. And I think it'll just tell you a lot about yourself in the process and if it's something that you want to continue going forward. And so also at this point, you want to, if you're manufacturing your own product or even doing white label, definitely want to do a lot of uh, trials with family, friends, and even on yourself to make sure that this is a product that you can stand behind. So at this point, you're, you're prototyping and testing and, and giving out samples so that people can try your product so that you can refine the product um, along the way before you decide to launch a product. So around this stage, you really know if it's something that you want to do. And at this point, I would definitely recommend if you're going to go forward with it. You should definitely start to create your business entity. And, and there are lots of um, videos that talk about creating a business entity. Just go forward with that so that you're ready when you start to build your website and start to build momentum about your new product line. So once you know that you have a well-tested product that is a good product that you can take to market, the next thing you want to do is start to develop your strategy for how you want to launch your product. So you can either launch it with a company branded website or you can look at launching via Amazon. Now I do want to say that if you decide to go the Amazon route, it is a little bit more lengthier because you have to learn the process of how to sell on Amazon. You have to create an Amazon seller account and just kind of learn all the nuances about selling on Amazon because it's not just about opening up a seller account, but it's also about how are you going to drive traffic to your listing? Do you know uh, how to set up pay-per-click ads? Do you know how to do any, all these things that are required for Amazon? So that's going to be a little lengthy. So my recommendation would be start with your own personal branded website so that you can really understand what it takes to start to drive people to your website. And I think once you drive enough people to your website, then you can think about creating an Amazon seller profile and start to learn how to sell on Amazon. As you are setting up your website, you also want to start to get your marketing strategy in place. So this is how you're going to get the message out about your particular product. So whether you're going to do it via ads, influencers, uh, user generated content, however, you're going to get the message out about your products before you launch. And I typically would recommend doing it at a minimum of eight weeks out before you launch, start to get buzz about your product. And so that means definitely you're going to be, have to get on social media channels like Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, 
to start to get buzz about your particular product line. And as you go on those platforms, it's not about just posting up ads. You might have to uh, look at what other companies are doing as it relates to their products um, and deliver content in a way that you see that is responsive with these other companies that you would deem like competitors or in the same uh, market space. So during this time, you also wanna make sure that your products are stocked and ready in preparation for your launch because you're building up this momentum. And so you want to make sure that when you click that button to say, okay, we're open for business, you wanna make sure that your product is available and in stock for people to order. So once you have your product ready and in stock, whether you're manufacturing or you're ordering in bulk and you get it labeled and packaged properly, you are ready to launch. And so it's just a matter of using Instagram influencers, ads, or user-generated content. You're gonna to start to now really heavily push that out. That product is now available for purchase. And so really those are the steps that I went through. While it can be a lengthy process if you decide to formulate and manufacture your products yourself, if you want a shorter path to see if this is something that is for you, you can definitely white label. There's so many companies out there that you can white label and basically purchase their product uh, in bulk and package it, put your own um, labels on it and take it to market. If you don't wanna spend a lot of time in the beginning formulating and manufacturing, definitely try the generic white labeling route and that might tell you a little bit about yourself and a little bit about the business that you want to be in. That's the story on how I started my product line. And these are very high level steps, but if you are interested in finding out more of the details in each of those steps, definitely drop me a comment below and I'll be happy to share more content with you about my journey as a brand owner. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Peace and blessings. Still haven't tried the Locklicious All Natural Hair Care product line? Well, let's hear what the Lock community has to say about it. I love how how it sprays and how it feels, you guys. Like, it feels so good. And it smells amazing, you guys. The Lock and Twist moisturizer was really good for me. The hydration mist was phenomenal. This is bomb, baby. I was really impressed, kind of blown away. And I think that if you're struggling, definitely go check them out. And check out the five-star reviews on our website. So, what are you waiting for? Go to locklicious.com to start treating your crown like royalty.